Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Let's continue, shall we? When we last left off, we met some new characters. We introduced ourselves to the locals. And we found a new, uh, or should I say, an old legend hiding down here in Mexico. Seems to uh, fancy himself. Uh, hello. You don't know my wife. <laughs> Looks like we've been propositioned. Uh, yeah, so he fancies himself a bit of a protector of the people. So let's go uh, help old Landon. Let's try and do some good around here for once. How the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio. Let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Senor Escuela. Is Javier to see? No sé, senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacon, uh, Grande the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again. I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman. A teacher. A human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. She's a human no, being. Sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pay me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. <sighs> Looks like we're being roped in to go save a human. Good to know that his sister's a human being. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. Yeah, let's take the train. Why not? Deserve a bit of luxury. I think we're fitting in with the locals as well with our new poncho. Shame we couldn't have got a nice one. I do like how well animated it is. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. I'm starting to realize that. But they do have plenty of sister, human sisters to uh, go and save, so maybe that'll loosen some tongues. Who knows? All right, Landon. Let's get this done. A human sister should be fairly easy to Still save. Travel, so they keep telling me we'll get off at Casa Madrigada and ride from there. So who's taking our horses down to? Okay, video game logic. Got ya. Are we going to skip or are we going to get blurb on the way? Doesn't look like old Landon's doing a lot of talking. Well, I guess we'll... Don't worry about me. I'm too old for sleep. I'll wake you when you get there. I'm too old for sleep. Jesus. I'm half his age and I feel like half of the things I do when I'm not at work is sleep. I'll spend half my time at least. Speaking of which, I have to go grab another energy drink. This cloth physics are well impressive, man. This is like a 360 game. An early 360 game. Well, not, probably like a mid... Gen 360 game. Almost got on the wrong horse there, didn't we? Well, I have recorded about five 
um, Titan tries today. Well, I think three actually, but still, Whoa. feels like five. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help. He'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. What do you mean for once? Here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel and apparently close to their leader Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for a Linde. Well, so that's not good. She's a good woman, a teacher, and a human. A finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their ball. <laughs> He'll do it too. <laughs> Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Yeah. Whoa, there. Looks like a bit of let's a hovel go. to me. Right, let's find this Carlos guy. Life is cheap. It is a pig. Carlos. See, si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. And the gringo. Let's do it. <laughs> the gringo. And hopefully we'll get a steak for our troubles. The rest I will leave to you. Yeah, it looks like... You're ready for this. Looks like they're all pigs in that. It's okay. Maybe we'll get a nice string of sausages. Everybody likes sausages. Mm -mm. A lot of good things you can do with a sausage. Ah, uh, this looks ominous. So close to the town as well. Wait in cover for the distraction. Alright. Talking of which... Uh, I guess we can use our bolt action. Yep, go for the bolt action. Whoops. Yeah, this looks sus. <laughs> I shall um, resist the temptation to pop out and open up some arteries and spread some brains. So we're taking on the army, huh? That's fine. Hey, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué quieres? No puedes estar aquí. Hace calor hoy. Bien bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. No puedes estar aquí. Eh, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. No <risa> tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. All right. That's our cue. Um Okay, so we're not going to shoot those guys. That's fine. Follow me. We'll shoot our way in there. Yay! Now you're talking. Oh yeah, we got a really cool handgun. It's been a while since I played this. All right, here we go. Now they can obviously hear the commotion. Welcome to the twenty-first century. All right. Oh god. I thought that was old Ricketts then for a second. What are you doing back there? Um having a breather, sir. That's it, partner. This way. Alright, well, I guess we're not looting these guys. There's way too many of them for a start. That's fine. Where's my cover, Marshall? Your cover is here. Less cover. More taking point looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open keep watch while i get it ready all right you go get the tnt sir i will try and get my bearings ah so our two friends that were outside maybe not maybe there's more sorry guys it ain't gonna end well for you all right get back behind that table yeah, I'll get behind the table. Let me just harvest up at least some of these guys. 
It's an awful lot of dollary dues going to waste otherwise. Seven dollars a pop, man. I mean, that's not bad. Do you just wish that this was a lot quicker? I mean, we can't in all good conscience leave these uh, gentlemen's wallets scattered around. I mean, who would be taking them? The locals? Bah! The locals are happy in their poverty. That'll do. Oh, he only had six bucks on him. What the hell, man? Stingy bastard. That's fine. I hope she's not right behind that door. That's, um... That's a lot of TNT. Stand back, damn it! Here goes! He's got the same gun we've got. I hope we don't find our spread all over the back. Come on, boy. Poor girl's barely alive. Uh, he just wanted to play the hero. That's what this is about. He just wants to be a big tough old man in front of the lady. Man, this gun kicks so much ass. Should have stayed down. You taught me well. I doubt you'll be needing this. Ricketts, you talk a load of old shit. Anyone ever tell you that? Indeco? Indeco, you son. Ooh. Ooh. Get the feeling we're pro yeah we're almost out of handgun bullets. Marston, come on. This is our what do you mean? Good lord! I'm waiting for you. Is that what these guys get paid? Like seven dollars? I very much doubt they're getting seven dollars a day. Come on. Well, that's convenient. Eight dollars. We found the rich one. Well, I mean, these probably aren't uh, prize-winning horses, but it's fine. I'm an old man. Get on that horse. Let's go before any more of them show up. All right. Up. For some reason, the whole match speed thing is not working. Don't know why. But whatever, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh god. Oh wow, this shotgun actually has a bit of range to it. It's unusual. Ooh. That'll do it. Dude, you just saw me paint his brains all over the place. I like this shotgun. <laughs> Well, we've taken out half the army. Damn it. Until we ran out of ammo, of course. Son of a bitch. Got a little bit too eager there. I think we might want to go for something a little bit more sensible. Maybe a repeater. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on. Yeah, let's let's get a more sensible weapon. Um Oh. Do the different revolvers have different ammo? That's something I didn't realize. Alright. I kind of like my pistols. This is never good, John. But uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Are you shooting me before I can even see you, sir? It's sneaky. Let's go! Come on. Oh, he took three. Guy was a beast. Hello. Yeah, sometimes that snap on, kind of like lock on system, doesn't always work super well. But 
It is what it is. I remember the same with um, GTA 4 as well. Like, it was fine. It, it kind of worked. But it wasn't perfect. Cabroni. Macaroni to you too, sir. All right, not bad. Oh, we have more. Of course we have more. Yeah, the way they like roll down hills and things is really good. Like, so much weight in the Rage Engine. I suppose questionable controls was a small price to pay. Oh, right through the throat. Oh, miserable death. Come on, old man. Yeah, no rush, mate. Jesus Christ. Look at the state of him. I'm waiting. And I'm impatient. There he is. Talk about cutting his spine. So what do I get for this then? Money. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquilla one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Well, I mean, we did a good deed. And there's nothing wrong with that. Got some fame. I don't think we actually got any money for that, actually. Oh, well. Can't get money every time, I suppose. There's apparently very little money to go around in Mexican. In Mexican. <laughs> very little money in Mexican, yeah. That works. All right, come on, Midnight. There she is. Right, let's ride. Let's go see what old Landon wants us to do next, shall we? Where the hell are we? Oh, we're... Ooh. I guess we could swing by. Ah, oh, Landon's miles away. Landon, you son of a... Ah. <sighs> Well, we could probably get on the stagecoach, to be fair. All right, let's go swing by, buy this property, have a bit of a rest, and then get the hell out of here. Go back to the old Landon. In case we get interrupted by someone. Oh, actually, what is that plant? Is that the plant that we're supposed to be finding? We need eight of them. And, of course, it's up above us on the ridge. Son of a bitch. That's a prickly pear, isn't it? Yeah, prickly pear. We don't need those. I said we didn't need those, John. Now, I did go and sell a load of stuff back over in New Austin. And f at least, ooh, from what I kind of noticed, it didn't look like you actually get much more, if any more, really. For your trouble. You right there, son? No worries, buddy. Right, I'm going to harvest these guys up. Well, that's a few more wolf hearts and pelts and more wolf meat. And this all goes... in our pocket at the end of the day. Might as well take this armor dildo as well. Dirty. It's dirty work, John. It is, but we need it. We need to line our pockets as much as possible. There's the dude that we just saved. He's fine. Definitely not a thousand more wolves in this area. Surely. 
Okay, that buddy. Okay. All right, nice humble little place. I can uh, I can appreciate this. Now, how do we get up there? That would be the important question. Aha! The elusive stairs. There's a lot of ladies around here. A lot of drunkards. Seems like my kind of neighborhood. And you know what? We might as well save. And we can reload ammo as well. This does seem a little bit cheaty, if you ask me. Rifle ammo. Shotgun ammo. Does it refill, like, everything? Ah. No, it doesn't. I think it just gives you the basics. Which is okay. No, we don't want to change. It certainly makes sense to only uh, give you the basics. So I haven't played this. Really? Last time I played this was 28th. It's only like, what, five days ago? Feels like a lot longer. Six days ago, maybe. Right, okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I think I fired it up to uh, do some stuff on camera. At least that was the plan, but I don't think I did. Okay. Come on, Midnight. Let's go. There's no shop here. What are these guys? Like, who are these guys? Are they supposed to be just like... Oh, they're dragging some... <laughs> Well, he's dead now. All right, let's go. All right, not that that sort of thing is funny or should be encouraged, of course. Absolutely not. And I did say we were going to quick travel there, didn't I? Well, you never know. We might come into something rather interesting along the uh, open desert. Although, there doesn't appear to be a huge amount of things that can happen. There's not a lot of uh, random events. Whereas I believe in the second game, there's tons and tons and tons of different things that can uh, that you can find along the way. At least, I'm, I think so, from what I can remember. Old Arthur Morgan. At the end of the day, at least these maps aren't actually that long. Or that big, to be fair. Really doesn't take that long to get from A to B. Oh, we got some dogs. I got offered a dog the other day. I don't have time for dogs, though. A rescue dog in need of a home. I don't think my cats would be too happy. So where is that then? It's like another little town. Okay. Now let's just cut across. Let's go the quick way. The road is definitely not optimal. I do need to kind of try and make a mental note. To do some stuff off camera like collect all of those uh, plants for a start but maybe I'll save that for when I get a load of holiday which will hopefully be the end of the month now is that what we're looking for not that that mean anything to you guys because by the time <laughs> the end of the month comes around and hopefully I have my holiday this this will be going up way after that I think woolly blue curls. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Woolly blue curls. Ah, uh, okay. We need to find eight of those. Yeah, I think at the time of recording, this will be going up uh, about almost two months from now. So... <laughs> I 
Okay, that's if my internet holds together. Titan tries actually missed going up this morning because my internet is a big bag of shit. Thanks to the storms. Now, do we have a shop here? There is a general store. Sweet. Definitely need to go visit him. Is he inside the walls or outside the walls? A little bit hard to tell. I guess he's in the walls. Alright, you stay there, Midnight. Don't let anyone steal you, will you? Aha! Hey, dude. I would like some ammo. Oh, no, wait. We've already got all of these that we need, I guess. Set all those. Might as well make some money whilst we're here. I guess we'll hold on to the bobcat stuff. Ah, look, cougars. So cougars are what we got from the uh, New Austin. Yeah, that's worth some decent coin. Yeah, we'll sell these back in New Austin. Sure. Vulture feathers. I mean, sure, we'll sell all those. Wolf meat. I guess wolf meat and wolf hearts and whatnot. And wolf pelts. Aren't quite worth as much as we thought. Alright, well, whatever. So, semi-auto pistol ammo we want. Ah, oh, do you not have it? Really? Wow, ammo's... Oh, no, I see. That's times five. Alright. Repeater ammo. Dude, so... Ah, pistol ammo. Ammunition for your pistols. Yeah. Unless pistol ammo and revolver ammo is different, I guess. Rifle ammo. I guess we'll just buy all of this. Surely you can't buy it if you don't need it. Or am I just talking complete shit? There's a lot of horses here as well. Alright, well... Let's have a little look. Did that actually refill? It did. Right, okay. No, don't bloody aim at those people. We just pissed everybody off. Follow the stranger to listen to his... Well, I mean, the stranger's running with a massive log in his pants. So I don't think he's going to be giving us anything today. Or is he? <laughs> Careful, mister, as I trample the back of your head. They're delivering provisions to the market. Uh -huh. Still one of the wagons? I give you good money. Um, nah, that sounds bad. That's going to upset the locals. Right. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we're basically out of time here. So when we come back, we're going to give old Ricketts um, <laughs> lucky in love. We're going to hit up old rickets. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Uh. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Nice. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Hermoller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. It's okay, then. Gentlemen. Hey. Namakshan! German guy is a bit of a dick. Don't see why not. Wait, what? Oh uh, no. What are we playing here? Every round start. Okay, that's good. Person to the left of the small bid must post the big. What? Alright, I have no idea what we're doing. 
Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. Uh huh. Folding the hand is giving up. You forfeit all the chips you best. Uh, Always a pleasure playing with you, Mr. Muller. All right. I have no idea because uh, I've missed everything. I don't even know what this game is called. You know what? <laughs> no, you We're cool. Something. I'll raise you. All right, the minimum bet can be raised at any time. Right, okay. So we got a 10 and a 3. That seems to be pretty pretty lame to me. Um We're going to fold. Uh, fold. This is scandalous. You don't seem to be having much fun, Mr. Muller. Uh, an eight and a jack. Like I, I don't do cards, so I don't really know what that means. Uh, let's just raise. Why not? Sweet mother of pearl. That's me out. Betting the same amount as the minimum bet is called a call. Okay. I guess you've just got a. Not for me. The f uh, what's that? The first three. Shared cards are called the flop. This is followed by a round of betting. All right. What are we trying to do? <laughs> I don't know. We're we supposed to make five cards. A full di like what? Let's just bet. Let's just be completely reckless with our money. Here we go. Fourth as lucky as each other. Whoa! We won. Really? You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's not, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Seems awfully stupid. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. Yeah, I need uh, I need a bit of a refresher course, to be honest. All about timing. Okay. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. Right. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Uh-huh. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. So... What are you waiting for, coward? Remember what I told you. You should have stayed home, Yankee. <laughs> Likewise, friend. All right. I got my automatic. So, I mean, I assume I just pull the gun, put all of my targets here. All right, that worked. Worked that time. I'm confused. I'm still confused. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Can I take Mr. Muller's gun? <laughs> you, uh, the man like on Marston, see? Um. You like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. All right. <laughs> okay, take the stranger out without... Ayúdame, alguien! All right, so let's try that again. 
So, from what I can understand, we draw the gun like that, but we're going to be less accurate. All right, but how come sometimes one one shot goes off and I don't know. Right. Well, we have the firepower. Muller's men. <laughs> I run this town. Well, looks like you need all the help you can get. <laughs> oh, the world's gonna know all about the Germans soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. All right. Well, bonus mission there, I suppose. Is that what we were playing? Playing? Poker? All right. I'll take your word for it. Right, let's go harvest up some of these bodies. Uh, of which there are quite a few. So what gun did Muller have? I guess we can't pick it up. I thought he uh, had some sort of special gun. I've got a feeling uh, Landon gives us that automatic. Or semi-automatic anyway. But obviously we've already bought it, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave that video here. When we come back, uh, we're going to continue with Mr. Ricketts. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.